the wishing well. Have you heard about an old town with a well that makes wishes come true? Well, er, I mean not well, er, I mean yes. Wishing well. <sighs> not so long ago, in a town called Velora, there was an ancient wishing well. A wishing well that granted wishes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just one more cuddly. I promise I shall not ask for more. of the wishing well only increased and the town heads made it into a heritage site there was an old post box that read wish well people from far away would come here and make wishes these tourists would then spend at our shops and eat at our restaurants but soon things changed it was rumored that the wishing well was cursed. And one boy took it upon himself to save the wishing well, Jonathan. Jonathan grew up in the town of Valora. He worked as a news anchor and kept the news circulating in the town. But today, he was sad. Good morning, Valorians. We have the verdict from the town heads. Our very own wishing well is now going to be closed forever. The problem was that the wishing well that helped Valora prosper was now granting every wish. You would think that granting every wish is good, but see what happened a month back. I am so tired of being the only florist in the town. I want to be rich. I want a million dollars, so that I never have to work again. Oh, I am tired of watching what I eat. I wish to never get fat. It was not just Ella the florist and Homie who made some unwise wishes. Jonathan, too, gave in to the temptation. Uh, hi, Wishing Well. You see, I really like Maisie. But she is so beautiful. I mean, I am just a nerd. She doesn't even know me. Can I wish for her to be interested in everything I do? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a wish well, not a question well. <clears throat> I wish for Maisie to be interested in everything I do. the next day. Hi, Jonathan. Ah, uh, hi, what, ha, uh, hi, Maisie. I'm surprised you know my name. <laughs> You're so funny. Wow, I find that very interesting in you. In fact, your name is interesting, too. Uh... Okay. Thus, embarrassingly enough, Maisie was interested in literally everything Jonathan did. Not just that. Ella the florist shut the only flower shop in Valora and set it home on the pile of money and Homie just loused around and ate all day. A month later, things only got worse. Maisie would follow Jonathan wherever he went and was always interested in everything he did. Ella was spending recklessly on candies and makeup and the town of Valora was left without flowers. And Homie was hospitalized. You see, since he never got fat, he began to eat completely out of balance and fell ill. 
And that wasn't all. There were other strange wishes that too came true, and the wishing well was blamed. But Jonathan would not have it. Tony, my mother believed that the well always brought good in people. Something is wrong with the wishing well, and I will find out what it is. I am interested in your vigor to find the answer. <sighs> Jonathan inspected the well for days together, followed by Maisie, of course. One night, Jonathan dreamt of his mother. John, the answers to your questions are on the post box. <sighs> Jonathan left his house in the middle of the night and hurriedly opened the post box. To his surprise, he found a bracelet with the name Rosa written on it. The next morning, Jonathan and Maisie went to the old jeweler of Valora and inquired. Oh, of course. This bracelet was gifted to Rosa by the one she was in love with. Rosa was a Valorian. You won't believe it, but the wishing well always lit up when Rosa came to it. Believe me, the well had a very special place for Rosa. Rosa would wish for everything right. Strength, courage, better focus in her studies. <sighs> and then, little Rosa fell in love. And all she could wish for is to be with the boy she was in love with. But the well never granted her wish. Rosa was heartbroken. She never looked at the wishing well again. Rosa moved from Valora just a few months back. Wait a minute. The well began to grant every wish just a few months back. Maybe the well is feeling bad for Rosa and is now granting all the wishes. I know what to do. Oh, this is so... Do not say interesting. It was only a week for the well to close when Jonathan decided to approach the well in the evening. Uh, hi, uh, uh, well, well um, we, we have a surprise for you. I am so interested you were trying to do. But honestly, do you think this will work? Boy, you told me you were taking me to meet an old friend. Why have you gotten me here? Jonathan explained to Rosa what all was happening in Valora. What? Ooh, I am responsible for a million dollars. Well, I don't see how it is a bad thing. <laughs> You are overthinking this. Rosa walked towards the well. I had forgiven the well for not granting my wish long back. I mean, I was very young when I fell in love with the boy. I later married my husband, and we lived happily for all those years. But the well is just a well. It didn't care. Miss Rosa was shocked to see the well light up as soon as she placed her hand on it. Wait, I thought it always lit up. I didn't know it was for me. You stopped believing in the magic of the well, Miss Rosa, and it missed you and began to grant every single wish, quite literally. Oh, you poor little thing. I am so sorry to have hurt you for so long. It was never your fault. It is I who never wished well. Wished well? Yes, of course. That is what is written on the post box, right? I wrote that years ago. I realize that this well grants all wishes that are wished right. You know, it is a direction for all those who want to make wishes. You must wish well. Jonathan and Maisie watched with tears in their eyes how close the wishing well and Rosa were. It was if the well was healing. 
Maisie. Of course, my mom said that the answer to my question is on the post box, not inside it. The answer was to wish well. We have to wish well, meaning ask thoughtful wishes, and our wishes will come true. Wait, what time is it? Why are we out so late? Wait, who are you? As the well healed, it took away all the wishes it had granted. Jonathan was sad to see Maisie leave, as she didn't know Jonathan anymore. But he knew now, just like Rosa, that it was all for the better. Two days later, at work. Good morning, my fellow Valorians. Today is an inspiring day. Firstly, let us welcome our florist Ella. Good morning, Valorians. As you all know, I received a million dollars from the wishing well. Sadly, I wasted a lot of money. And two nights ago, I opened my locker, and the money was all gone. Honestly, I was relieved. I missed my flower shop, so I decided to open it and look at all the love I have received. Oh my! Oh my! This is a truly inspirational story. Now let us go to our second hero. Homie. Oh, Jonathan, I was let go from the hospital yesterday. I gained some weight and I am loving it. I feel fresh. I was ignoring my health all along. I know now that gaining weight isn't bad. In fact, my wish made me more reckless with my body. And along with those other wishes, two left with Rosa. You see, folks, this proves that our wishing well is officially free of any curses there were. Jonathan explained the whole story to the Valorians. The answer to all our questions is on the post box. Wish well. It simply means that we all must make a proper wish, and it shall come true. You want to excel in your studies? Wish for better focus. You want to buy a new car? Wish for an opportunity to earn. Folks, you wish well, and the wishing well will grant it. Jonathan's message spread like wildfire, and soon enough the tourists came pouring in. Everybody began to ask for wishes to help them grow and learn. The wishing well stayed where it was forever. Jonathan learned a valuable lesson. As he stood in front of the well, he wished for courage to go talk to Maisie. Maisie deserves to know that I like her. Though he wished for courage, the wishing well had began to work its magic on him to grant him what he deserves. You were really interesting.